Reynolds versus United States. George Reynolds of Utah was a secretary in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the Mormon or LDS Church. A law has been passed in Congress in 1862 known as the Moral Anti-Bigamy Act. That banned bigamy and polygamy, which is marriage to two or more people in federal territories such as Utah. Despite this act, polygamy and bigamy were still practiced and even encouraged by the Mormon Church at the time. The Mormons believed that the Anti-Bigamy Act violated their First Amendment right to practice their religion freely, which resulted in George Reynolds coming forward and announcing that he would sacrifice himself for the church. Reynolds was soon arrested for marrying two women at once and was sentenced to two years of hard labor. His imprisonment was upheld by the Utah Territorial Courts and eventually reached the Supreme Court in 1878. Key question, do anti-polygamy laws violate the First Amendment free exercise clause if polygamy is a religious practice? Reynolds and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints argued that the law encroached upon their right to practice their religion without restriction because polygamy was part of Mormonism at the time. The Supreme Court unanimously agreed that polygamy was unlawful, despite Reynolds' argument that it was his duty to practice marriage to multiple women as a Mormon. Chief Justice Morrison Waite delivered the majority opinion. Congress cannot pass a law for the government of the territories which shall prohibit the free exercise of religion. The First Amendment to the Constitution expressly forbids such legislation. Congress was deprived of all legislative power over mere opinion, but was left free to reach actions which were in violation of social duties or subversive of good order. In other words, the Moral Anti-Bigamy Act did not conflict with the First Amendment's free exercise clause, but that polygamy itself was immoral and harmful. While not explicitly banned in the Constitution, polygamy was outlawed in Old English law, which American common law is based upon. The act may have been targeted toward the LDS Church, but Congress was careful enough not to explicitly state so, effectively avoiding claims of religious persecution. The Supreme Court's decision in Reynolds v. United States proved to create a powerful precedent that is used in many decisions today that religion cannot be used as a defense for unlawful acts. The Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment does not extend to protecting illegal activity, even if it is part of a religion. For example, someone who commits arson cannot use their religion to argue their case. Overall, Reynolds v. United States was a famous case that established an important precedent of religious defense being useless when prosecuted for a crime. The Supreme Court recognized the limits to the protection the Bill of Rights provided for citizens and understood where the line should be drawn for religious freedom. This case also sparked another debate between the LDS Church and the United States, whether or not religion should be allowed to own property. Without this precedent being established, the legal system could easily be thwarted by religious groups who get away with breaking the law today. Created using Powtoon.